Tropical Storm Dorian generated strength overnight and is expected to reach the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico later Wednesday with heavy winds before growing stronger as it heads to the Bahamas and then Florida, where it's expected to make landfall as a Category 2 hurricane over the weekend, according to the National Hurricane Center. The National Hurricane Center said in its 5 a.m. Eastern Time update that Tropical Storm Dorian was located about 85 miles southeast of St. Croix with maximum winds of 60 miles per hour a 10 miles per hour increase from Tuesday as it moved northwest at 13 miles per hour. Although weakening is possible after Dorian moves across Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, the storm is forecast to strengthen late this week and this weekend while passing near or to the east of the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. Senior hurricane specialist John Congelosi wrote in the update. Hurricane watches have been posted for the U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Vieques and Culebra. Tropical storm warnings are in effect for U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Vieques, Culebra, British Virgin Islands and the Dominican Republic from Isla Sayona to Samana. The National Hurricane Center warns heavy rainfall in these areas could cause life-threatening flash floods. The Florida Peninsula is expected to get the most rain, with Tropical Storm Dorian dropping 4 to 8 inches, with up to 10 inches in isolated areas, the center said. The Hurricane Center predicts Dorian could reach hurricane strength over the next two days and peak at 100 miles per hour, Category 2 strength, within the next five days, but uncertainty in the intensity forecast late this week remains higher than usual due to a large spread in the model guidance, the Sun Sentinel reported. On Monday, Puerto Rico's Governor Wanda V.Z. Quez signed an executive order declaring a state of emergency and provided a list of all the new equipment that public agencies have bought since Hurricane Maria in 2017. The director of the National Hurricane Center, Kenneth Graham, told WSVNCH7 on Tuesday that it remains too early to tell how the storm will affect South Florida. It's such an undetermined situation here. If it's a weaker storm you can see some gusty winds and some rainfall but if it stays stronger right now we're looking at the potential for a tropical storm, he told the station. So, preparedness is everything, it's having that plan ready just in case.